I have a question about debt. Is it possible to repay a physical debt, to compensate for it entirely in a different form, or is there something else that can be done from an energy perspective, energy balance, or maybe there is even a better option, do emotional debts need to be compensated by emotions, physical debts by physiology, or is there a room for variations, this is a good question, colleagues. Yes, we talk a lot about the fact that a warrior should always remember that he mustn't have any debts. And since we work in Western European Northern tradition, Northern and Celtic traditions, it forms itself starting at the warrior level. That is, the warrior's mindset must be present in order to be able to exist, live, work, practice and build your worldview or magical consciousness within this tradition. Therefore, it is very important to position ourselves as a warrior, especially when we are talking about our tradition and not about any other ones mentioned prior. This is also very important to us. It is very crucial for a warrior not to have any debts, to be completely debt-free. Why? Because eventually, debt can diminish your rights, and for a warrior it is extremely important to learn not to lose his rights, but on the contrary, to accumulate them. Therefore, a warrior must definitely keep an eye on the hygiene of his energy and informational equilibrium which in the human social world is expressed in the form of debts. Here a colleague asks what is a better way to pay them off, whether it is possible to interchange different forms of debt, for instance, you borrowed money but paid back with emotions, or vice versa, received emotions and gave back in the form of money. Is it possible? Perhaps, if you understand entirely the adequacy of this type of exchange, the way something should be mixed and turned one into another. But there is a big risk for mistakes, therefore, it is better to follow the rule of a warrior, measure for measure, whatever measure you took, that is what you have to give back. Whatever measure you were given, that is what you should give back. That is why it is better to pay monetary debts with money, the debts of time, with time, emotional debts, with emotions, mental ones with your thinking, and etc. This means to pay back with the original measure that you received, then you won't make any mistakes. Because when you start mixing up things, there will be a greater probability to fall prey to your own deceit. Let's take paying child support for instance. What can be easier? Instead of devoting your time, your human emotion, educational information, to give them money, money is the easiest way out, money is the cheapest currency. Time, emotions, lives, are of a much greater value, would you agree? Money is easy. But I am afraid that if a merchant considers it normal then, for a warrior it is totally unacceptable. As soon as we start paying our debts with money, paying with material equivalent for non-material debts, we are immediately being lowered to the level of merchants because that would be appropriate for them. If you do this three times you won't even notice how your rights and status get lost. That is why it is always better to give back more. Even slightly more than you received, and pay more for the services you've been provided with. And this additional payment can be done in a different form, but the actual debt itself must be paid 100% in full with the original currency.